So you've decided to make November 2024 the time when you will finally dive into NoFap. But you aren't sure what to expect or even how you're going to make it through the whole month without going insane. But I'm going to give you some tips on how to make this happen this year once and for all. First, you need to decide why you are doing NoFap. Are you doing it because you heard your friends talk about it? Are you doing it because you heard about it online and you think it's a fad? Are you doing it to compete with others or to even compete with yourself because of your past streaks? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you are doing NoFap wrong. NoFap is not a challenge, it's not a competition, it's not a fad, and it's not an endurance test. NoFap is actually a way for you to break away from the addiction of porn and get on with improving your life. Secondly, how are you supposed to do NoFap? Should you make a calendar and mark off each day that you actually made it through? Should you get a porn blocker for all of your devices? Should you resort to fighting your urges? And should you be prepared to do push-ups just to get past your urges? Well, this time, if you answered yes to any of these questions, then you will fail within days. What you should do is plan out your days so that you are doing something productive at all times. Keeping yourself busy will actually keep your mind focused and you will gradually learn to forget about porn. Remember, the number one cause of all relapses is boredom. And third, are you worried about urges? Are you worried about what will happen when you are alone in your room? Are you worried about the triggers that happen online or, or anywhere you go in public? Are you worried about not being able to sleep at night because of urges? So in these situations, if you answered yes to any of these questions, then you aren't doing NoFap correctly. Urges are just your natural sex drive and they are a sign of good hormone health. If you are always staying active and productive and you only use your room for when you are tired and ready to go to sleep, then you are not going to have any trouble with urges. Here's the bottom line on how to succeed with NoFap. Way back when I started with NoFap, I developed a three-step approach to doing NoFap called the three pillars of NoFap success. And those pillars are commitment, mindset change, and sexual energy transmutation. Commitment is the first step. Commitment is when you finally decide to change your life and work on self-improvement. Mindset change is the second step. This is where you change the way you think about others and how you conduct your own life. And sexual energy transmutation is where you take your sexual energy or your urges and you use it to be productive in other areas of your life. If you approach NOVAP with an open and positive mind and follow these steps, you will succeed. I was able to succeed by doing what I've just discussed with you. And as of November 1st of this year, I will be starting my seventh year on NOVAP. Now that's not a flex. I'm just trying to tell you what is possible. Leave a comment down below about any questions you have or any worries too. And please go ahead, hit me up with all the questions you want because I really do want to help you. You can also join my Discord server called PMO Recovery and I'll put the link in the description below. So until the next video, have a great rest of your day, a great NoFap November, and peace out.